All right, how's it going, y'all? Um, so this is probably my, I don't even know, like 30th attempt at trying to do Mania Solo Arcade Mode on Streets of Rage 4. Um, so I, the only time that I've actually beaten this, I think, was with my friend uh, Josh, and it was... So there was one time that he beat it playing his cherry and he beat the last boss by himself. I died on Y Island, pretty typical thing. Um, but probably about a month ago, we beat it together, uh, which is probably one of the most <laughs> satisfying feelings I've had in a while. Um, so, I have not beat it on solo yet, only on hardest difficulty. Um, and this video is to prove to Josh that I can do it on Solo Mania, even though I just did it and failed like 30 minutes ago. Um, Bring it on. It's gonna happen. It'll happen. So I haven't really played much of the older Streets of Rage, but I know um, this map and maybe a couple others are inspirations from the old games. Um, I was watching gameplay and I saw that like Barbin was a character and Shiva I know was a secret character in here that was on the old games. And, if y'all haven't heard, they're releasing new DLC. I don't know when the release date has been posted. Um, but they're... So I know there's some new characters. I know Estelle is going to be a new character in there, and Max. Um, I assume there's supposed to be others. Um, what I'm most excited for, though, is the Mania Plus arcade mode. And new maps, of course. But, you know, if I'm having this much trouble with Mania mode, like... How, like, I'm just wondering, like, what Mania Plus is even going to look like in the first place. It's probably going to be, like, the enemies that are on the last two levels. Um, but just this and time suit the enemies. I don't know. It'll be nuts, though. And that might have looked clean, but I've probably done that part maybe like 30 times at this point. Jeez. 
Is Kubo supposed to be like one of Dr. Zan's creations? Jesus. Ah! My goodness. Just walking into that. <laughs> Alright. Got it. I ain't losing a life today. It's meant for White Tower. Or Chinatown. So fucking good. I would honestly say, like, one of my favorite soundtracks in a video game. So I haven't really watched too many videos of people actually playing this game, um, but I assume that the combo chains you can achieve in this are fucking nuts. Um, it's probably like one of the reasons why I actually like this game so much is just like the versatility of the combos and what you can actually do. And I would say you, you don't even realize it until you're probably like 20 hours into the game. If you get those combos down, bosses like Diva are just so fucking broken. I'm gonna try and do it. Yeah, there we go. So if you're able to do that multiple times, it doesn't matter. Like the, the enemies just won't show up. gonna be so clean.
Also, I remember seeing... Well, one of the only videos that I actually did watch was a guy who got... Fuck, I don't even know. It was like a 900 hit combo on this level. Um, I mean, it's super easy to do, and that's probably why it's like one of my favorite levels. Like, the combo you can get on this shit is just insane. Also, sorry for not giving credit to that guy. It was a great video. Mm. So hopefully, um, you know, I can stream like a co-op playthrough with Josh at some- Jesus Christ. That was an official L, letting Jack be the one to hit you first. Bro, who the fuck even is this guy? Draw four L's, fam. Bro! <laughs> Take your knife. Nice. Also, super dope Easter egg. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, that's where it starts to get a little bit greasier. G signal and Y signal even means. I know there's like old characters in the old games. I don't know. Fucking Christ. another life. Alright, I'm not gonna forget it. The taser's right here, I know.
Also, word of advice, using a baton will smash the shit out of that door. Oh my god. Commissioner. Heavy hit, Commissioner. Jesus. And I'm not playing anymore. Oh! Oh, sweaty palms. Holy shit. I don't think I'm going to get very far on the boat, though. Also, sorry for skipping the cutscenes. I've just seen them like 30 times already. though. Francis. Just like the kicking characters. I just don't think Blaze does very well with him. it up a little bit. Yeah. I haven't really heard the Metro soundtrack, or Retro soundtrack much. Clean. You know what? I think the retro soundtrack hits equally as hard as the new one. Hmm. Rookie mistake. Get the 
worth life? Let's see. I think it all depends on this part, because this part is such a pain in the ass. Like, the boss the boss fight isn't really as bad, it's just always this part that I was losing life on. And it's always the Francis's. Fool me with the hammer. Oh my god! No! Dude, this is fucked. If this is another commissioner, no. Oh, yeah, I knew I was gonna get that. Also, shout out to my partner Caroline for, uh, you know, watch me repeat the same levels over and over again. This really is a mix up, though, because I haven't really heard the soundtrack. Jesus. I know for this boss, it's wise to keep her pinned to the wall or something to where she can't have access to other enemies. Power level good though, I need to step it up a little bit. I wish I had a webcam so y'all could see how much I'm fucking with this soundtrack. Oh my. Now that hurts. Okay. Alright. Old Pier. Um, probably one of the greasier levels that I lose life on. Good strat. Always take him out. Don't leave any stragglers behind. Woo! Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Uh. Am I really gonna lose a life right here? Oh my god. Alright, that was... Ah! Don't 
forget the bats. Oh, God. You know, if I wasn't jumping like two minutes ago, I probably would have had that extra life. Don't you just love throwing a motherfucker off the bridge into the sea? Sorry, up here. Nice. Nice. It gets greasy here too, my friends. See where jumping gets me though? It gets me there. Alright, this is greasy. Easter egg here for you guys. I just like to watch. Sit and watch him fight for a little bit. Fundamental rule in life, uh, always say fuck the police, but they are whooping their ass right now. And I can thank them for that. Except I'm really not excited to fuck the taser, guys. Wait, what? No. Where did the arcade machine go? That is such bullshit. That was like my lifeline. Thank you, Donovan. Oh wow, holy shit. Okay. And I got a toyki. <laughs> just fucking tasing just some random intoxicated man under the bridge. You know, sometimes I don't really think that, like, the main characters are really the good guys. There's a lot of people you just, like, mercilessly beat throughout the whole game. Ah, combo breakers. Ah. Woo! Greasy. I don't know if y'all have seen the videos, but she looks just so fucking OP. I'm not sure if she can like spawn grenades or what, but like, oh my god. 
Well, same with Max, though, too. Like, I assume you're gonna have to do some pretty hefty shit to unlock. Jesus Christ. Focus. Nothing stands in the way of my turkey. Target locked. Of course. I think this is where I get fucked the most though, with that. Mmm! Hey, looking too good! That on like Chinatown or something. I think that I think Chinatown is next. Definitely, probably not gonna get to White Tower, but shit, I'm surprised I'm lasting through here. I think this is way more badass than the modern music for the boss fight. Listen, lady. <laughs> that is Estelle you're talking to, okay? Okay, okay, so this, this is a cutscene that I don't want to miss. Badass character. Oh shit, okay. Chinatown was not next. Totally forgot about Underground. You know, as badass as jumping might be, I think it was my shortcoming for the past two lives. No, my shortcoming is when I did not see that fucking arcade machine there. Like, where did that even go to? I have done nothing wrong, and I'm a great player. Jesus. Like I said, strategic advantage of just throwing a whole motherfucker. Oh my god. <sighs> they call me Food Hog and Blaze. Jesus. Patience. Oh, 
this. Ah! Ah, I'm really gonna like focus with these guys, especially when there's like multiple of them. Okay. Might as well grab. Okay. All right. Um. If I did not lose a life there, I'm losing a life here. I gotta have more faith in myself. It's hard when you only have an apple. Alright. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go head on. Oh god, I thought I was gonna get hit. Not bad. Oh my god! Brother, you don't give me that fucking taser. Bro, this is fucked! No! an apple there too. First rule of Streets of Rage, always check your surroundings, okay?
know, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get that other life. I'm not doing very well at picking up money though either. Probably find some money too, honestly, if I go over here. In heaven. Huh. Interesting. Alright, fuck it. Chaotic evil energy. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> this is why you'd never pick up those fucking Molotov cocktails. This soundtrack, though, I'm sorry to keep talking about it, just slaps. I know the original soundtrack on the retro games also had some pretty good names on them. Oh, get out of here. Nice. So, I don't know if much of y'all know this, but if you break, if you don't break the bikes, then none of like the headbutting bikers will come out here. Very, very useful, especially when you're fighting Barbin. But, Chinatown is definitely next, so, let's see how we do on that. I wonder who the next character is. Tana bounces right now. There we go. Alright, so Chinatown is where you don't want to fuck around. Alright. So I know I've been talking about the soundtrack, but I gotta do it for Chinatown. Especially with how like the music changes with the map though, it's just so good. Gorman, get your ass out of here. Oh my god. Pathetic. Mm. 
Pathetic. <sighs> Alright. I'm actually impressed I made it to Chinatown, to be honest. I know there's rice over here. Talk about hectic, am I right? I feel like if I kept all my lives, it'd probably be like, was it like five now or something? This part is not so hard, well, maybe on like two player it's not so hard, but from my experience playing it on three player, you gotta have coordination. part solo that much so let's see how it goes i've done it a couple times maybe songs are on this map, like three or four. How the fuck 
Wow, holy shit. I guess I gotta use items next time, Jesus. You know, at least I got the Chinatown. That's all I'm okay about. Okay, so I'm trying to remember, I don't think that there's any extra enemies when you're solo on Shiva. Hopefully. Otherwise, I might still have a chance. Word of advice! Do not throw items at Shiva. come this far. Motherfucker. Okay. Sweaty palms indeed. Yeah, this ain't looking too good. Ah! Uh... was a good solid hour um yeah if any of y'all are actually watching this um i'm gonna try and do this again i at least want to get a, a video of the new content coming um but yeah thank you for watching and i got far enough josh <laughs> <laughs>